Welcome back. Thanks, Seth. Big news in Zach's world. Yes. You just got a puppy. I got a puppy. And <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know from experience, obviously, the hardest part about getting a puppy is uh, potty training them. How's yeah. it going? Well, it's going okay. I went uh, to the park, mm -hmm. and in addition to potty training, we were working on getting him not to pull on the leash. And uh -huh. so the way you're supposed to do that, evidently, is like if they go in one direction, you go in the other. But it took a long time, and because he's a puppy, and because I'm up late, I've been drinking a lot of like um, tea and coffee and sure. stuff. So by the time I was done at the park, I really had to pee myself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but there was only one of those, like, park murder restrooms yep. where, like, yeah. if you go in, there's, like, an 80% chance someone's going to make upsetting eye contact with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't go. I, and I was like, I can make it home, no problem. And I got in the car, and I was driving, and I realized that it was much more urgent than I had initially realized. Uh -huh. And it sort of felt like, like, you know, in, um, like, action movies when there's, like, the door is closing? Yep. And the guy has to roll under. Sure, sure. It was sort of a urethral version of that. <laughs> and I got home, and I was like, okay, I can make it. And I got up to, to go into the house, and I couldn't find my house keys. And I started to really panic. Yeah. And I was like, I'm about to urinate in my own pants. I'm going to go into my garage to pee in the garage. Yeah. And I live in a condominium, so there's people. And uh, then I couldn't get the garage door open. And I had the dog and the garage... And I just realized this has, this has to happen here. Yeah. And I stood in my parking lot, Seth, and I peed my <laughs> pants at 35. Uh, and I... <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you did it. You did it. But here's the thing. Like, the dog looked at me like, I thought we weren't supposed to do this. <laughs> and then I had to go upstairs and, like, and I, my shoes were wet, and I was going to, I was told, like, I, 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 if I saw a neighbor, I'm like, I'm going to tell him the dog peed on me. And then I had to use the stuff we use to clean up after the dog when he pees in the house <laughs> to clean up my footprints. <laughs> it was really degrading. <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to hear that. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Yeah. Have you, I know when you have a dog, people yeah. will give you their advice yeah. on being dog owners. Have you, have you gotten any good advice? Have people told you what it's like to be a dog owner? Well, one, a friend of mine said to me, she was like, uh, she said, do you know why dogs don't live as long as people? And I said, no. And she said, because they already know how to love. <laughs> and I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have to warn me before you say things like that. Like, I have to continue to live as an adult. I just want to go, like, listen to Judy Garland and, and cry. Uh, yeah. And the trainer said that, like, physiologically, when a dog, when you come home, the event in a dog's brain, like, the dopamine levels is like falling in love, like, like a human falling in love, but it happens six times a day. Wow. So when you come home and you're like, oh, I've had a long day, and the dog's like, and you don't pay attention, it's like... Romeo and Juliet. Or no, yeah. not even, because those guys were in love with each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Romeo and, and uh, Kathy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not today, Kathy. <laughs> I remember the first time I yelled at our dog, Frisbee, yeah. uh, because she was behaving badly, and I realized at some point I have to yell at her. And I was like, Frisbee, no. And she just looked at me and then turned to the side and threw up. <gasps> yeah. It was so traumatic for her that she was like, nope. Oh, my Blah. God. That's so, so sad. So just be careful. Just, like, ramp up to it. I also um, wish I had that in my own emotional repertoire, which is when someone hurts my feelings <laughs> or criticizes me, I could just barf. Yeah. It would be great. It would be like, just think twice next time. <laughs> Zach, we've got some notes. <laughs> <laughs> we are like, I, I saw him pee himself in the parking lot, and then he threw up in the meeting. He is in control of none of his bodily functions. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is a remake of a yeah. film, a Swedish film called Force Majeure. Right. And uh, it takes place uh, at a ski resort. Were you a skier going into it? We see you at the top of a mountain there. Yeah, I was not a skier before, uh, but now I am still not a skier. Gotcha. And uh, the only time I'd ever been skiing before was cross-country skiing yep. as a boy. And I hated it with, like, a, an indescribable intensity to yeah. the... To the extent that I, I took my ski pole, and this is going to make me sound like an incontinent psychopath, <laughs> but I took my ski pole and I stabbed my brother <laughs> in his calf. And he was like, what the hell? And I was like, 
someone had to pay. <laughs> like, I hated, I hated it so much that I hurt him for no reason. And you, uh, you're in Austria. Yeah. Uh, how was? And I would imagine you're at a ski resort. You're at a yeah. beautiful mountain. Is that where you spend your time? Is that where you eat your meals? Yeah, it was breathtaking. But the restaurant was really weird because they, I don't know if this is true everywhere, but in this particular resort, they dress in this kind of like 19th century servant garb that the waiters, they, they, they look like they just like escaped the cuckoo clock or something. They've got these sort of like yeah, yeah. later hosen. And they, there was this one guy and he had this laugh. You know, it's a weird thing when you're in a different country, you don't know if you're committing faux pas. And he had this thing where, like, like, okay, like, you, you, you be me and ask, like, for a bottled water. God, do you have bottled water? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> he would go like that, and then he'd be like, I'd be like, did I do something wrong? I'd be like, you know, whatever. Can yeah, I have? Did you do something? Did I do something wrong? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up eating in my room, Seth, because I didn't want to <laughs> you do want to social that. anxiety. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm glad the film uh, worked out nonetheless, and you worked past both those hurdles of not being a skier and dealing with that waiter. Thank you so much. It's a real form of moral heroism. <laughs> yeah. uh, congrats on the dog, and thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Always such a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Zach Woods, everybody.